I think I'm always, I've always wanted to write. Um, I've always been bad at everything else. Um, so writing is a kind of necessity, you know, dropped out of university, etc., etc. Um, and so when did I first start to write poetry? It was when I was at, when I was attempting, my first attempt to do an undergraduate degree. Um, I signed up to do a creative writing course in fiction, which is what I've always written. Um, and it wasn't being offered, so there was only a creative writing course in poetry. And so I started writing poems. I, I, I thought, I thought if, I could, if I could be just a mediocre poet, I'd be a damn good fiction writer. Um, so, and, and somehow poetry, it didn't take over, it just, it just got an equal place. At some point, by the way, I, th I thought I'd, I'd start drumming because drumming is all about rhythm and if I could be a mediocre drummer, I'd be a damn good poet, but drumming never took over, I'm, I'm a shit drummer. The first poet I, I fell passionately in love with was Emily Dickinson. Um, the poet you'll see most obvious in my work, who I try to hide her influence because it's too profound, is a Jamaican poet called Lorna Goodison. And then there are other poets like W.S. Merwin, um, like, uh, like Walker, like Brathwaite, like um, Gwendolyn Brooks. I mean, there, there, there's all kinds of things. Um, I mean, that's the obvious way to an answer the question. I always think that, for me, I think of what are the voices that are impacting on my voice and what are the sounds, and those, those sources aren't always literary sources. Um, growing up in Jamaica and going to church and listening to pastors is um, a profound influence. Um, learning that moment in the congregation when the pastor would say something and the audience would shiver. It was, it was be, it'd be because of things like he would place an unlikely noun to a dissonant verb, and so the noun behaved in a different way. And, and when you see how that, the reactions that that happened, that that does to a church, it was, I was always listening to that and learning from that. And it was, it was listening to language, how language is being used to move people in different ways. Um, and I think that there are all kinds of sources of sound um, old women in Jamaica, pastors in Jamaica, uh, my own grandmother. Uh, all of those things are, are influences. I, I do mean that in a more profound way than it may sound, that I, that I am Jamaican, that, that um, it's, it's the first nationality that I'll always claim. It means that, that my writing is always Jamaican. Um, it, it's always commenting on that landscape. It's always commenting on that literature. Um, and, and, and probably not just Jamaican, I mean West Indian. So I'm, I'm conscious of, I'm conscious of Derek Walcott all the time. I'm conscious of having conversations with him, um, both literal and poetic conversations. I am, um, you know, I, I, I think there are lines that might pass one audience that is, that is invoking something that Brathwaite wrote or Goodison wrote or Walcott wrote. And I'm saying either yes, but not to that extent. Um, so it's, so, so it's a profound influence because that's the landscape in which I'm conversing, um, and uh, and I guess in another way, you know, I've I've only lived in Britain for what six six and a half years, um, so so in another way, I, I very much was formed as a person and as a poet um, by the Caribbean. This collection is um, a light song of light, and as I was saying, it it. it it did come from a period um, when, when I thought things were pretty dark and I wanted to know how could you... Um, when things are very, are very... are that... when things in life are that oppressive, are that dark, um, how can you sing a song of light in the midst of it? Um, how, how can you dare to do that? Um, probably part of that came from dislocation um, I'm, I'm from Jamaica, and as cynical as I think I am, I think the landscape of Britain is, is more cynical, I think. Um, but also it, it, it asks you to mark your intelligence with cynicism, um, so, uh, sometimes even with irony, that if you say something, if you say something very deep that you believe in, you have to undercut it with irony immediately, and that proves that you're savvy, that you're smart, that you know, you're kind of cutting edge. Um, 
And I think I didn't want to do that. I wanted to write a po- write poems about light and not undercut it with irony, and say that this is this is intelligent. This is absolutely what I believe that this is important. Um, and so yeah, that's that's how it came about. But you know, there, there are other things that the 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 whole the, the econ the economy crashed. My mother died. I was living in a new place. It was literally dark, um, and it was just how do you write? How do you write light? in the midst of all of this.